Good morning, Kamasi. Residents in this neighborhood will likely be without power until tomorrow. Now, the few that we spoke to say they understand that these power cuts are designed to help prevent possible wildfires. But they also say they're frustrated with how PG&E has handled this entire situation. Michelle Foster says her family of four has been without power since last night. No power means no school for her kids. Their class is still going to go on without them, and that makes me sad. But uh, I'll pull their workbooks out. We'll, we'll get some stuff done. I already emailed the teachers yesterday when I got the alert that it was a potential that we may not be in class. PG&E alerts were sent out to residents to warn them that power would be shut off due to the threat of wildfires. PG&E's down power lines have sparked massive wildfires over the last few years, fueled along by high winds. But what frustrates Foster is that in her neighborhood, the power lines are underground. I just feel um, maybe if we could figure out how to find where it stops and it is above ground, we can like fix that. And then we wouldn't all have to have our power out. Here in the East Bay, this PSPS event will impact over 6,000 customers mostly in the cities of Danville, Dublin, Oakland, and several neighborhoods in Walnut Creek. I was headed up there. In fact, that's why I'm, I'm taking the long way home, because it was shut down this morning. Val Jensen says the Shell Ridge open space was closed due to the red flag warning. The lights are on at his house, but even still, he says he doesn't like that the power is being shut off to prevent wildfires. For the prices we pay in California for electricity, to have the utility able to just shut it off because it can't control its own system, I think, is, is not right. As for the Foster family, Michelle says when so many are struggling, it's important to have some perspective. It's not going to be easy, but, you know, we can, we can make it work. I have a roof over our heads. I have, I have running water still. I have, you know, the means to drive down to Safeway. We can make it work. Now, PG&E says power will likely be out until 10 p.m., but their crews will go out tomorrow morning and inspect the lines. If there are no problems, they say they'll try and restore power as soon as possible. Reporting live on Sarhassen, ABC 7 News.